All right, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have something a little different. I've been playing Wukong, I'm playing that a lot and I will have that more of that up tomorrow. However, today I'm gonna be reacting to the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 multiplayer reveal trailer. Now, for some of you may not realize this or know, I've been playing Call of Duty for a really long time. The only Call of Duty I didn't play was Vanguard. And even then, I kind of wish I had played it. I just always go back to Call of Duty, whether I play it for like 60 hours or like six days or like whatever, you know, six days, six hours, anything. Time, any amount of time, I always play called something I always go back to. I find a lot of comfort in it. And so I pre ordered Black Ops 6, and we'll be doing a ton of content on that. But I really wanted to look at the multiplayer reveal trailer because I'm a multiplayer player. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and react to this and see what they have to show. I have not seen anything other than literally what you're seeing right here. Uh, I really hope that it's good, and I really hope that, you know, I'm not like disappointed. I've been very, very happy with what they've shown us so far. So let's see what they have to show us now. Okay. Damn, that's old, back on the arcade machines. This is using game, the game engine, okay. Nice. I like how they add that little bit of realism as well. The fingers off the trigger and they're not ready to fire. It's kind of, nice quality of life. Right, dude, Prodigy in the background too, I like it. Okay, a nice display of the Omni movement right there too. There's the meat shield with with a blueprint. I guess that's the grenade launcher with lingering effects. Like instead of an explosion of dirt, it's an explosion of like poison that looks like poison. Okay, so that looks like you can shoot the pilot out of these helicopters and take down the streaks. That's what that looks like to me. Ooh, that was clean. The RZXD, I assume that's what that is. Yep. And there's the Omni movement. They've been showing it all. This is their big selling point. 16 new maps. Hopefully they stick to three lane and they're good three lane maps as well. I presume that's the cruise missile. Yep. Here's the gunsmith. I... And we got classic prestige. Another confirmation again that we're gonna have prestige master is gonna be the Cerberus level one thousand. Okay. Not bad. I want to go back and like look at some of this as well because that was actually a really nice trailer. I really like that actually. So we just skip through here. It says even here uh, all the way on the bottom, it says right here, uses the game engine for all the footage. So everything you see is using the in-game engine that we're going to be able to use. This was a map that got leaked with all of the gameplay that we saw on Twitter. I actually don't even remember. I think it's called Pit. Uh, I really like the way the map, it's it's a small, what looks like an X-shaped map like, um, with two corridors at the top and a circle in the middle. So kind of, I think that's how the map is shaped. That's what it looked like from all just the gameplay at least. Okay, this right here, I'm curious because he calls in the kill streak, which is nice. He fought, is this a rocket that I can pilot? Like it comes out of the launcher and it does this? Cause if that's what it does, it might not be the most convenient thing. Cause I assume when you get shot and killed, you won't be able to use it. So it takes a lot of precision to use. Yep, uses the Omni movement to, do, to dodge that. I wonder how much that would happen. Like is Omni movement that good where if you j dive backwards, you'll be able to dodge a tomahawk. I presume it will be considering if you dive forward or die or anything like that in previous Call of Duty tides, or if you slide, you can dodge it. But I'm curious to know, like, as you come off the dive, he has to jump. So as soon as he comes off the jump, is he able to is he able to dodge it? That's something I would be concerned about. I think the game looks great as well. Like they're using in-game footage. I assume they have the graphics cranked up all the way. They look really, really good. Th this shit is gonna piss me off. If I get grabbed from behind and used as a fucking meat shield, like, I, this will be something that really infuriates me. Probably knowing them, they will have a way to break out of it and it'll be kind of inconsistent. I feel like, I feel like you have, have them for a certain duration or you can break out of it. This will be interesting. I wonder how they're gonna have it. Okay, yeah, and here's the Mastercraft. He's got the grenade launcher going. Instead of the dirt clouds, it makes poison clouds. This high ground in front as well, I assume this map will get called something like satellite or something because it's got a giant satellite dish on it. I bet that high ground right there is a big power position. It, 
it looks like it's the oversees the center of the map. This is something that interests me. So they slide up and they scope him with the sniper and they take that shot and it blows up the helicopter. Like, is, does that mean I'm gonna be able to shoot down an helicopter streaks with a sniper rifle? There's gotta be some more to it, right? This execution's also sick. Bing, flip, and boom. Going back, okay, we're gonna watch this again because this was disgusting. The fuck is this? Do not tell me that's something we can do with Omni Movement. Someone's gonna dive out of the water like that. Like, I, I know I want an arcade style COD. I'm not looking for realism, don't get me wrong, but, but what? Excuse me? I don't think that's a real thing. I think that's trailer just stuff, but I don't know, who knows. Oh, he actually is back. I mean, yeah, the map's still, the map's, like this, these maps look just great. Cruise Missile looks like it's back. This is, okay, my big concern, here's the gunsmith. This is my biggest thing for the trailer right now. Please, 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 please do not make it to where we have 300 million septillion attachments and never go back to the way we had it in Modern Warfare 2, which was, oh, I want a grip for my M4. Oh, I have to go use an SMG I don't care about to go get it. Like, don't don't make it like that, please. Just make it good. Just, just make it, oh, okay, I can unlock grips just for my weapon by leveling it and make it the same grip on every fucking gun. That's fine. That's how we had it. See, we got the classic prestige system back. The Cerberus will be prestige master, I presume. Well, either when you hit level 1000 or like 900 or something like that. Some multi-layered maps, which are kind of nice. This is all one map as well as from the looks of things. So this looks really, really like nice. It looks like it all connects together. And that's the trailer. There's nothing in there that I wasn't expecting. There's nothing in there that I haven't heard about. It's all basically confirmed with the same thing. I am going to say, however, I am a bit worried that the hype for this Call of Duty is too big. I had this issue back. I think we had this issue with Cold War. Like, don't get me wrong. The movement looks awesome. Even the diving out of the water, I think is a little bit of a stretch, but it's still nice because I just don't see like, okay, everything, even though I want to go arcade, there is a bit of like realism to it. And I feel like diving out of the water is going to be, it's going to be kind of nuts. So someone's going to jump in the water. They're going to dive out and shotgun you. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be crazy. Again, I'm just worried with Cold War. We had this issue where the hype was really big. We we're going back to an arcade style. We got round based zombies. We had everything that everybody was asking for, for the most part. They, they fumbled the bag a little bit. Uh, the zombies wasn't that great, but the multiplayer was a lot of fun. I'm worried that that's going to happen with this game. The more footage I see on it, the more hopeful I get, but also at the same time, the more I'm worried that they're not going to be able to follow through with all of the promises they put up as well as everything that everybody's expecting. The game looks fucking awesome. I'm really excited for October 25th and on for and at the same time, there's going to be a lot of double uploading for me as long as I stick to my guns and I stick to what I want to do because Sonic and, Sh Sonic and Shadows Generations is coming out and I'll definitely be playing that. We'll see how much of both of those I upload. Maybe I upload a bunch of Black Ops 6 and then I take a break and I play Sonic and Shadow uh, Generations. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. I'm super excited not only for Black Ops 6, but for the rest of the year. Gaming is a bit phenomenal this year and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also lets you know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future and hit the little bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah, until next time, this is Gia signing off. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.